we can... Uh. Ah! Davis, welcome to Taskmaster. What is potential? When I was a little boy, a school teacher told my parents I had none. By the end of that year, he had witnessed me wrestle a wild stallion to the ground and skitter up the side of the BT Tower like a giant mother-loving lizard. <laughs> we all have potential. We can all unlock. With the exception, it seems, of most of the following people. Please give a warm welcome to Dara Bree! Fern Brady! John Kerr! Munya Chihuahua! And Sarah Millican! And now for a man who was once chased and bitten by a peacock in an instant he refers to as the day I lost my children's respect. It's... <laughs> Everyone. Hello, Greg. Hi. I've got news. Uh oh. Of my new project. Oh yeah. A line of clothing. It's called Simply Alex. Would you like me to describe it? Yep. Well, it's for unique occasions. You know when sometimes your fingers are cold. Your fingers are cold, but your hands are warm. Yep. So I've got these. These are called uh, gloveless fingers. <laughs> gloveless fingers for the thumb there, of course. Uh, I've also got. It's a pantless crotch. You know when this area. <laughs> That's the end. OK. <laughs> it's a good job I can't roundhouse anymore. <laughs> uh, prize task, then. What category did I suggest this time, my furry chum? Oh, just another bloody brilliant one from Mr Brilliant, you bloody brilliant bloody bloke, because you asked them to bring in the greatest addition to a garden. <laughs> OK. Mm -hmm. John, hello. Hello, you all right? Yeah. <laughs> I, brought in, uh, I brought in a maze. <laughs> Here's his maze. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, big maze. Yeah. Yeah. Have you brought in a maze? Well, I didn't bring in a maze, no. Yeah. Um, I brought in the Leylandi plant. Did yes. You? <laughs> <laughs> this is what all mazes are made out of. So you haven't brought in a maze, you've brought in one plant. I would have brought in a maze if I could. <laughs> but you love a maze? I do love a maze, yeah. He loves a maze. Yeah, and I, I'd be as impressed if you'd uh, brought in a stone and said, uh, this is a potential pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's weak. Guy's a fool. <laughs> Sarah? What I've brought in is something that I've used every single time I've sat in the garden when it's been sunny. Right. And it is the complete works of Shakespeare. <laughs> oh, hang on, John, you're back in the game. <laughs> Here it is. Perfect. Perfect for the garden. <laughs> well, I use a heavy book every single time I'm in the garden uh, to keep my magnum wrapper from flying away. <laughs> right. Like this. Lovely. Lovely. He'd be pleased. Don't you think Shakespeare would be pleased? That's oh, I think he'd be mortified. <laughs> <laughs> His whole shanked. life's work's holding down your magnum wrapper. <laughs> but fortunately for you, he's not scoring this. <laughs> Tara. Uh, I brought a thermometer, but it's a thermometer that also proves that I was an advertising model in 1920s France. <laughs> 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 So, uh, since on trips to France, I've discovered that it's actually a really iconic ad in France. So and there's I a was, whole second career for you. I there. was quite the character in 1920s France, <laughs> yeah, with my pastis olive. Wow. Yeah. Which yeah. is uh, olive oil, I presume. He's... I don't know. I just did the gig. Uh, I... <laughs> Incredible. Hello, Fern. Uh, so mine is a pizza oven. It's a fancy one. I, I've got a pizza oven as well, and I, yeah. I, I started the fire inside it. <laughs> 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 I found this one really hard because I don't enjoy being in my garden at all. I live in a horrible bit of south-east London, so a lot of being in the garden is just listening to drug dealers shout at each other or <laughs> trying to ignore a woman dry heaving in my garden. <laughs> it's a 
Just to remind you, you're watching the light entertainment show, Taskless. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> Munya, uh, can you beat any of these? I can <laughs> G-Wagon. Uh, so... <laughs> I don't mind G-Wagon. OK. Make, make a note. I brought in the bird that changed my life. I'm from Zimbabwe. And uh, when we moved to England, we moved to Norwich. So, virtually indistinguishable. <laughs> now, uh, th there was a lack of wildlife in Norwich, so I started to get very homesick until I met Smooth Rupert. OK? Oh now, Smooth God. Rupert is a black bird who would fly into my garden. All the birds were loving it. He was the bird equivalent of Snoop Dogg, OK? <laughs> Obviously, I couldn't bring him in, but I did bring in a reincarnation of Smooth Rupert as I remember him. <laughs> He's a smooth guy. Um, OK. <laughs> what are you on about? <laughs> you looked out of your window and you saw a blackbird. You mean, I'm going to call that Smooth Rupert. <laughs> what, so you've never looked out the window and seen a pigeon and gone, that's an aggressive Dylan? <laughs> <laughs> he, w he won me back a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Let me give some points out. So what is the least... Great addition to a garden. Well, yeah, you know, you would have said it was a solitary tree, <laughs> wouldn't you? Until you saw a pizza oven that someone had tipped lighter fluid over. <laughs> One point. Right. right. One point yeah. to Fern. Two points to Smooth Rupert. Three <laughs> points to a ragged individual tree. Right. <laughs> I think Dara's reward is infamy around France, and I think that Sarah's doing her, her little bit for making the bard relevant to a modern audience. So, <laughs> and against all odds, I'm going to give it five points. There we go, five there points to Sarah Millican. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Task time. Yes, it is. So let's get the bubbles flowing. Please enter the magical sphere. Thanks. Cool. Hello, Fern. Please enter the wonderful ball. OK. Please enter the enchanted orb. You have to go into the plastic igloo, the futuristic globule. <gasps> I didn't know you could get pens that clip together like that. I'm 46 and I've never wanted something more in my life. <laughs> cool. Turn on the bubble machine. You may not step off or move the doormat. Fastest wins. Your time starts now. But that's the bubble machine. Yes. Um. Uh, power. Um. Where's the charge for the bubble machine? Turn it on how? Like mechanically or sexually? <laughs> Looks like we cut in the nick of time for Munya made sweet, sweet love to a bubble machine. <laughs> Again. <laughs> um, let's just crack on. Yeah? First, we're going to see Fern and Dara in the dome. OK. So you've given me these special pens that hook together. Rubbish. I'm missing the thing that turns on the bubble machine. About 12 yeah. volts, I imagine. Yeah. Where have you put us? I need something. Ooh, ooh. Oh, 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 Right. <laughs> I'm dead clever, are eh? Stop. It's happening you with two batteries. Uh, how do the batteries operate? They don't operate this, do they? Oh, I'll be careful. Oh. <laughs> These can't be for no reason. OK. Source of power, but I need to be able to open it. Yes! There is only two batteries! Oh no. Oh, that's cruel. That's not going to be enough. I'm a little bit tired now. Tired? Yeah. I keep looking at you, Cactus, as if you're the key to this. That doesn't, that doesn't sound right. What if we bat other batteries under the car? Oh, 
Tower. So where do you think? <laughs> I've stopped the clock. Thank you, Fern. Pretty fun. See you there, so. Congratulations, Dara. Thank you. Do you know the last thing that my wife said to me before I came to Taskmaster today? Always check under the table. <laughs> You didn't heed your wife's advice. I did not. No. <laughs> you look like you're having a great time to meet her. I was also fun. Yeah. <laughs> Dora was quite scientific about it. He wondered if it was a battery-powered cactus and that that's where we'd hidden the batteries. Whereas Fern was more an instinct, really. At one point she said, I need to get in the car. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I still solved it in the same way as Dara. So. You did. But did you solve it in the same speed as the scientific chuntering Dara. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, so they both did um, about five minutes. I just thought I'd be more vague this time. About five minutes. <laughs> That'll certainly keep everyone on the edge of their seats, <laughs> won't it? <laughs> about five minutes. Well, Dara was six minutes 35, Fern seven minutes 40, so about five minutes. <laughs> Sarah Millican hadn't been yet, but neither have John and Munya. Here's how they got on. Turn on the bubble machine. Yes, please. Is it on? Yeah. Doesn't look like it's on. What the hell am I going to do? Oh, how do you make it go all stiff? Practice. <laughs> oh, look at him, hello. Why doesn't it work? Does it need batteries? Does it need to be plugged in? Isn't it meant to go all rigid? Yeah. So fix the bubble machine. What, do I need a screwdriver? I bet it's in there. Yes. yes. Hey. Yes. Oh, be careful. Oh! I've never used a bubble machine. I had a Mr. Frosty. <laughs> right then. Can't step off the doormat. <sighs> Doesn't make any sense. Dressing gown. It's got something in the pocket. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Look at this. Ingenuity. Do these clip onto each other? That's not going to work, is it? Yes. No fool. No fool. Missing a battery. One in there, isn't there? That doesn't come off without a screwdriver. I need to make a screwdriver to get one out of the car. I'm gonna make a yeah. screwdriver out of the coat hanger. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Why have you given me this? This bit. Oh, that it doesn't feel right. What am I missing? What am I missing? Is there something on the floor? Oh my god, I found it! <laughs> oh, you dicks! Oh, I hate you all. Yes! I've stopped the clock. I knew I could do it. No. Oh, hang on. Well, that doesn't matter if it's in there. Doesn't matter. Bubble machine turned on. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. Wow, it was a dramatic conclusion. Manya, do you know how screws work, right? Yeah, I mean, you insert and twist like the best things in life. <laughs> Yeah, if you can get them rigid enough, of course. Well, that's the first time in this series we'd have anything in common, so... <laughs>
Sean, you seem to struggle to see the batteries a lot of the time. <laughs> yeah, we had hidden secret messages everywhere. On the batteries, it all said, look down. In the middle of the string, it said, look down. Yeah. We weren't expecting people not to see the batteries that were right there. <laughs> and also, John insisted for five minutes that the machine was on before doing anything. <laughs> five minutes. It technically was on. Right. It didn't look on. Well, no, I agree with no, in you. No, in the spirit of the task, the machine was definitely off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Off. But it was on. <laughs> Give me some statistics. Well, I think it's going to surprise you. They took about five minutes. <laughs> and by that, I mean John took 10 minutes 45. <laughs> Munya, 11 minutes 41. Wait, did John what? beat me? <laughs> Can't be. You've got to remember, Munya made, <laughs> Munya made a lasso with a torch. He tried to make a screwdriver out of a coat hanger. He constructed a bazooka out of the pens and the cactus and the battery. <laughs> He did, he did spend a, lo a lot of time recreating an episode of The 18. <laughs> <laughs> I think Sarah was fast. Was she fast? Well, I can tell you that in last place, it's Munya with over 11 minutes. It's one point. John gets two points with his 10 minutes 45, then, then it's Firm with 7 minutes 40. Now, we know Dara took 6 minutes 35. Sarah took 6 minutes 16. So she gets the five points. <laughs> Uh, may I have a scoreboard update, please, Alex? Of course you can. She's got maximum points and she's in the lead with ten points. It's Sarah Millican again. There we go. <laughs> Another task. Make it a good one. Well, I'm afraid this one is actually tarpauling. T it's, it's, it's... Go on, crack on. Alex! Hi, Manya. Fancy seeing you here. Always here. <laughs> Hello, Dara. Oh, Alex. <laughs> Get this... Oh, come on now! Get this tarpaulin completely in one of the containers. You have a maximum of five minutes and you must select your container before touching the tarpaulin. Also, you must tidy it. Whoa! Tidy everything up within those five minutes. Smallest container successfully filled with the tarpaulin wins. Your time starts after you have selected your container. And you must select your container within the next 30 seconds. Smallest wins, smallest wins, smallest wins. That's full of shit. <laughs> Let me pack this. OK. There's got to be stuff. So there's going to be stuff in it. 15 seconds before yeah. you select your container. Yeah. Uh... That's got balloons in. Oh, bloody ducks again. I'm going to pick this. OK. Uh, I'm going to pick... Four seconds. OK, this one. OK. This one. OK. Which container? Uh, the green bin. <laughs> Lots of uh, interesting thoughts. My eye is immediately drawn to Munya because anyone who thinks that tarpaulin is going in a bread bin <laughs> is insane. <laughs> well, <laughs> wait till you see the task. Perhaps. <laughs> Who's up first? And we're going to start off with Sarah and Dara. <laughs> Your five minutes start now. Right. I mean, I folded sheets. We've all folded sheets. Why is there a snake underneath the... Oh, no. What? Oh, there's a snake. Do you want me to...? Yeah, if you could, please. You've still got one minute 45. Didn't say it had to shut. <laughs> well, it just said it's going to be completely in there. You've still got a minute. That is exactly the right size. Ah. That's your time up. Good work, Sarah. Thanks. 
I'm waiting for the bit that went wrong. I felt like you were asked to put a tarpaulin in a way and you folded it nicely <laughs> and you put it in the container that you'd chosen and you subsequently tied it up really well. <laughs> You're watching Tusk, Mum. <laughs> I really enjoyed it. Folding and tidying, what's not to like? Don, do you enjoy folding something away really efficiently? Yeah, but I wouldn't, like, televise it most of the time. No, no. <laughs> only, only a madman would. <laughs> well, don't forget. For those people who are thinking of turning off, we've still got Bread Bin Boy to come. <laughs> We're going to see the final three now. Brady Chihuahua Kearns. <laughs> Horrible man. So what am I meant to do with these coins? Mm. How much is in here? Um. You're basically making me do tidying. Yeah, this starts with a lot of tidying, yeah. Do you not like tidying? No, it's boring. Um. <laughs> well, that's not a problem, is it? Just put it back in there. <laughs> OK, right, let's think. How do they do it for bed sheets? What do they do for bed sheets? Snake. What's happening? It's not real, obviously. Do you want me to get it? I can what get is, it. What are you doing? Do you want me to get it? Uh, no. OK. Is there things in this? You've got three minutes, Fern. But you've put something in here. <laughs> There's millions of marbles and spoons and things. some sort of trick. <laughs> 15 seconds. Fuck. How many minutes? Two. You've got to clean all that up. Do I really, though? Mm -hmm. Right now, it's inside, isn't it? It's not completely inside. Well, it, that, that's just not possible. People get bodies in these. It's, been so hard. it's inside, isn't it? <laughs> Done. I guess I'm going to tidy up the forks. Yeah, thank you. Well, that certainly spiced things up a little bit, hasn't it? Um, you reverted to being a angry 15-year-old fern at the beginning. Yeah. Uh, why? It's boring! <laughs> because they made out I really had to tidy up the spoons and marbles. Well, you did. That was part of the task. No, I was like, someone from the crew can do that. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> um, what I wrote down about John was, John cuts quite a lonely figure in this task, doesn't he? <laughs> We're all on our own in these stuff. Yeah, oh. some people just seem more alone than others. <laughs> uh, I'm thinking specifically of when you chose your um, receptacle, you mm. opened it, you discovered there were balloons there, <laughs> yeah. you took them all out, and then you held them for some time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you stood still for 80 seconds, John. <laughs> None yet. I'm intrigued as to what part of you thought that was going inside a bread bin. I'm seeing these containers, I'm thinking, OK, obviously, there's, there's something underneath the smaller container. 
So I was thinking when I open the bread bin, it's just going to be like a sewer. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to open. <laughs> I'm playing it out in my head. I'm going to open it. It's going to be a sewer. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is going to be under there. <laughs> what up, dude? You want to put that in there, dude? OK, come on in. Oh, but that didn't happen. <laughs> God, I never thought I would long to hear Smooth Rupert come back. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, points-wise, Sarah, put the tarpaulin completely in the laundry basket and then tape the basket shut. Yep. Dara got the tarpaulin completely in the laundry basket and just put the lid on. He did leave one lid carelessly on the floor. Who got the least tarpaulin in? Munya. Right, one point to Munya. OK. Who got the, the next amount of tarpaulin in? John Kearns. John Kearns. Two points to him. Mm -hmm. Fern. Three points. Dara can have four. But wow. the Queen, and the only one who really deserves any points, Sarah Millican. Well done, Sarah. Five points. <laughs> right. May we have just one more, please? Of course. And this one's well classy. I like to make an entrance. John. You all right, Al? Alex. <laughs> Gold pen, how am I being retired? Yes, congratulations. Thank you. It's the best years of my life to you, Alex. And we're very grateful. OK. <sighs> oh! Oh, baby, write down five wonderful words. You have one minute. Your time starts now. Last year, when I started learning one new word a day, people laughed at me. Now who's laughing? Me. Loquaciously. <laughs> Loquacious. 20 seconds, firm. Done. 12 seconds, if you want to change your mind. Nope. Thanks, John. Euphoria. 10 seconds. <laughs> Sex. I panicked. I panicked. Great. Great stuff. I doubt I'm leaving the room. <laughs> what have I got to do now? I genuinely don't know. I don't believe you for a second. I never believe anything you say. Apart from everything you need's on the task. <laughs> That's exactly is. how you say it. All the information's talk. on the task. How do I feel I have made a rod for my own back? Write a classic song. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you must write lyrics for a piece of classical music. Your lyrics must contain your five wonderful words. You have 30 minutes. Your time starts now. I'm going to give you some options. Jesus is Lord, you need that many wires. Is that an iPod Touch? What was it, <laughs> World War Two? And is it only those words or other words? Oh, other words as well. OK, fine. Oh, you wrote down the name of the song. Yeah, it's Claire de Lune, isn't it? Correct. Thank you. Oh, I think it's, it's too poignant for this. Too poignant, OK. Is that Hall of the Mountain King? Correct. Oh. For two points. <laughs> How many points am I getting for this? <laughs> Lords. Next. That was a banger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pop the next one on. Swan Lake by Tchaikovsky. <laughs> no. 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 It's too British. <laughs> no commotes out. Last one. I can play this! I don't know that one. It's not his best. <laughs> You're not writing lyrics to that, though. No? Well, if he didn't... What's it called? <laughs> not even a good name. Sonata in C major. I need to listen to it while I write the song, That's, don't yeah. I? Yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Well, you just stand there? Yes. So you just have to keep going back to the start. This is how I like to write my raps. Yeah, me too. Here we go. <laughs> Stop. Pause. OK, wheel up again. Pause again. Ah. End. Where do you reckon people would sing your song? In their heads. <laughs> Can you really play that on the piano? Yeah, instead of having friends at school, I spent two years learning Mozart sonatas, <laughs> and that's one of my favourite ones. Oh, too British for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't wait. OK, well, five classic songs coming up. First up, it's John Kearns. I found a naughty Satsuma in my fantastic curry. Oh, yes, I found a 
found a naughty Suma in my fantastic curry. The lady on the phone said, What? Get here, you prick. I will lance you into next week. I said, I'm in my new pajamas and I'm free. I said, I am free to complain to you. Far off the original, the original Swan Lake. Prince Siegfried fell in love with a swan and then ordered a curry. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, am fascinated to learn more about the narrative of the piece. <laughs> <laughs> so he's in his pajamas, so he's not he's not well blessed. Yeah. <laughs> so to kind of uh, clear the cold that he has, he's ordered a hot curry. <laughs> he opens the curry. Yep. There's a bloody satsuma in there. <laughs> Well, John, uh, this might seem over the top, but I think that what we've just seen is the best thing you're ever going to do. Next up, <laughs> let's see and hear Fern Brady. Oh, no. <laughs> Here we are again, series 14. Who will become the house's queen? It is me, Fern Brady, me, Fern Brady. I'm the rightful queen. Dilapidated house filled with mystery. We even bloody knows what we will see. Only one contestant will achieve the height of victory. And the toss was serendipitous. They were gifts to the task mistress. All the other contestants, they were boot licking Seiko fans. Dad was a big bold imbecile. Mr. Cairns is a sick wish chat. And Sarah and Monia are losers and a stamp on their toes. Painful. You saddled yourself with some stinker words, but yeah. it's a masterpiece, wasn't it? Yeah. I, I wasn't aware we were allowed to write a diss track. Um, <laughs> she really took you all down. Really, she did. Mm. I mean, accurately as well. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. What, I don't know what my word means. You were obsequious. Obsequious, yeah. Oh, that you suck up to people, and you really don't. Oh, you're, no. you're not. I mean, he does. He doesn't. <laughs> Dara, you're not obsequious. <laughs> Thanks, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're a fool. Next up, and putting lyrics to Debussy at last, it's Sarah Millican. Oh, shit. Here we go. <laughs> I'm not watching. <laughs> Is it toadstool? Can I really eat it? I'm inside in a bralette, which is a comfier bra. <laughs> Let's scaffold in. With my cat who is fighting catnip. Biscuits are my catnip too. Oh look, there are crumbs in my bra. I hated doing this. She absolutely hated doing that. But I think oh, wonderful. I have such a terrible history of singing, though. Like, I was in a relationship with somebody who always said, don't sing, it sounds awful. And I didn't sing for years, and that was the... probably the most horrific thing I've ever done in my whole life. Who was it who said that you sang awful at singing? Ex-partner. Oh, fuck you, ex-partner. <laughs> is now in the section of my life that is after watching that. <laughs> Everything building up has been before watching that. <laughs> and now my life can begin again! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I genuinely thought it was really sweet. It was certainly quite a contrast to it's me family, it's me family. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the story made sense. The story did make sense. 
I think it's about a woman and a cat who are both eating biscuit crumbs from a bra. <laughs> Yeah, it's a comfier bra. It's like a nighttime bra, like the sort of bra you wear on yeah. like a Sunday. I know what a bra yeah. that is. Have a look. <laughs> <laughs> you need a bit of structure. Oh, sorry. Um... This is going to be an absolute stinker to judge. Who's yeah. next? Now it's Dara O'Brien. <laughs> Do you know my greatest fear? Of all the fears, my greatest fear is to be the victim of defenestration. That fear might seem nebulous, mysterious, fantabulous, but it spins around my head, it's quite gyratory. They used to do it in Prague a lot, in olden times, political plots, but listen now, I'll tell you how it happened to me. I once met a man in Spain who said to me to do a dance, Senor, do the fandango, out the window you will go. I said, no, I will not go, out the window, no, no, no. Take those whole palabras and shove them down your throat. Before I come on to the song, uh, my first observation is, I think it would have been nice to have had more of your face in the video. <laughs> 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 it, just, it looked to me like a public information song <laughs> from the 70s. Well, it, 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 it's based on a real event uh, where I met a man who said, I'll throw you out a window. Uh, and <laughs> where did you meet this man? In Prague. Uh, and uh, he said, I would defenestrate you, which is, a, as you know, a very common thing in Prague in times of political upheaval. That's how they assassinate people. Of course. of course, I don't mind telling you that. Yeah. Obsequious. Uh, and... <laughs> well, even during that description of what the song's about, all I'm looking at is his big head. <laughs> <laughs> it did lead into my big head. It, it did make I don't think you have got a big head, but on that video, it's sort of. I don't know. Who's next? <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's only one person left. Manya Chihuahua. Goodness gracious, big brows in the mansion spacious, got a posh ting and her back's bodacious, never talk slow, she's so loquacious. Real fanatic, go to the gym but I'm still an asthmatic, crowd goes wild, emphatic, money up like cash in the attic. Jovial, Alex Horn, that's a homie, yo. Is that euphoria? Is it me or did we just get hornier? <laughs> I'm on Taskmaster, I'm like Greg but I rap faster. And when he raises his specs, that can only mean one thing, sex. Um, I think uh, it's the most middle-class rap I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> what was it about? <laughs> you know, it was off the dome, uh, you know. It was off and, the dome? Me and the homies were chilling in the back. We were freestyling, eight miling. Yeah. Real, real Prague smiling. <laughs> we were. Yes, yeah, sorry, man, I don't think you heard my question. What was it about? <laughs> Have some scores? OK. I'm not going to give anyone one point. Ooh. It's probably that I'm not straight enough to appreciate rap. And also, I don't know what the hell Dara was going on about. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm giving Dara and Munya two points okay. each. I felt the same emotion um, about the tangerine curry mm. as I did about me from Brady and me from Brady. <laughs> so I'm giving them four points each. But the one that really touched me the most, five points goes to Sarah Millican. <laughs> It's time for me to send you to the stage for the final task of the show! <laughs> Who's going to read out the task? Uh, Dara O'Brien, please. Throw your egg and your spoon the same distance. Both egg and spoon must cross the qualifying line. If either your egg or spoon fall off the nappet, <laughs> you are disqualified. The most distanced egg and spoon each round are out. If your egg doesn't break, your distance is halved. Last player standing wins. Mm -hmm. So one at a time, you'll go to the throwing circle with an egg and a spoon. You'll throw them both over this line. Each time, the person whose egg and spoon are furthest apart from each other will be out. It's Dara to throw first. O'Brien approaches the play zone. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. 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 So you're up next. If you could select an orange egg, please. Just so you know, we're measuring the egg, not the paint. <laughs> Most of the egg has gone over the qualifying line. Oh, it's further. It is further. John Kern's next, please. Yellow. That is bold. <laughs> <laughs> On your next green to match him. <laughs> I hope this doesn't throw you off, but one of your eggs does contain the corpse of Smooth Rupert. <laughs> <laughs> Solid. He has managed to shove the yellow egg further away from the spoon. It's it's essentially a form of curling. <laughs> that is fine. Mm. That's fine. Right. Yeah. Sarah Milliken, blue. It's been a while since I've had any eggs. <laughs> Thank you for getting the ovary joke. <laughs> Are you going spoon first? Is that not allowed? It's allowed. Great spoon guy. <laughs> Yellow is out. Sorry, John. What, I don't get another go? Nope. John, um, just to show you out, would you put your hand on your chin, please? <laughs> yep. OK, it's round two. Remember, if you don't break your egg, your distance is halved. Honestly, Alex, I don't understand this one. <laughs> I was asking John the rules earlier, and he's, like, the worst person. <laughs> <laughs> might be in trouble. <laughs> Whoa! That has absolutely backfired on you. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> We've lost there. We've lost there. <laughs> Round three. On the qualification line. We have lost Manya Chihuahua. Unlucky, Manya. <laughs> Until the gripping finale. <laughs> Dada! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> lovely. Lovely. This is so much pressure. Nice throw. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. 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 Dara Green is the winner! <laughs> Come back, Dara, and we'll add that to your final scores! <laughs> wow! Big wow! High octane! <laughs> yes, poor old John only had one go, so he gets one point. Yep. Two to Sarah, three to Munya. Four to Fern, but yet again, Dora Breen. He's, he's just very good at this. Five points to Dora Breen. Oh, yes. <laughs> and so to the final scoreboard. Well, for the first time ever, all five have the same points. <gasps> no, no, nothing like that. No. Um, <laughs> we have a winner, and that winner has 22 points. It's Sarah Millican. Oh! <laughs> Sarah wins. Please go and visit your garden of delights. <laughs> OK, we're off, and you're off too. But first, let's applaud the winner of episode four. One more time, it's Sarah Millican! <laughs>
subscribe now.